Hi, cartographers. Dr. Jason Van Horn, professor of geography here at Calvin University. In today's episode, I'd like to show you how we're going to make a transition from ArcGIS and ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro. As always, thanks for your likes and subscription to this channel of all things GIS. So let's jump in together now. Okay, so we've launched ArcGIS Pro for the first time. You can see a couple of things going on here. We've got a navigation controls on the left. We'll look at the settings in a minute. We have where we're going to propose or start a new project. And then also you can log in, and many of you will need to log in to ArcGIS.com to access your licenses to do ArcGIS Pro. If you have a provisioning file already installed by CIT, uh, or you have installed that yourself, then you'll be able to work offline and you won't need to necessarily log in to ArcGIS.com here to get your license to use ArcGIS Pro. So over here on settings, let's start there. Let me show you here. We start with the about page and this gives you the information about what version of ArcGIS Pro that you are working with. It also is where you can choose to update software and check for those on startup. Now you've got some different options here like starting a new project or opening an existing project. You can save projects here as well. If you have a different portal that you want to log into, maybe a company portal or a local, local municipality, you can do that here. In terms of licensing and applying different licenses, you can do that here by adding in the licenses if they're not already installed uh, for ArcGIS Pro. And then in terms of options, these are the global options that are available to you here in the settings to adjust all kinds of things globally within the ArcGIS Pro environment. You may or may not want to adjust any of these. You can see here I'm working in the dark theme, and that's right here under the general tab and application theme. I've changed it from light to dark. And when you do this, you'll have to restart ArcGIS Pro. So when you restart ArcGIS Pro, you'll be here on the landing page to start a new project. Now, ArcMap or ArcGIS used MXD files as their project files to, to guide and direct everything that you have and when you save. ArcGIS Pro does not use MXD files, but you can bring them in. I can show you that in another video. They use APRX files, which is your project file. Let me show you how that works. When you start a new project, you can choose any one of these four options here or starting without a template. So if we choose map, which is most common, then we'll launch into a map environment. If we do catalog, we'll launch here into a cataloged environment. Global scene and local scene are the 3D versions inside of ArcGIS Pro to do 3D work. So you no longer have to actually use a different software like ArcScene with the ArcGIS suite. Instead, it's all incorporated inside of ArcGIS Pro. The difference between global scene and local scene is that global scene uses a, a, a geographic coordinate system, uh, a, a GCS like WGS84 or something like that, whereas local scenes have to use a projection. Uh, they need to use a projection uh, and uh, they're forced to do that. And so uh, you also have content that is more global uh, or maybe local. And so uh, if you're dealing with city stuff and 3D stuff in the city, uh, then a local scene might be the best option for you. Okay, let's go ahead and launch a project with map. I'll click on map and you can see here, I'm prompted with a new uh, window that says to create my new project. Now here you can name your projects and you can also uh, adjust where they go. Notice by default, they're going in the My Documents folder in the ArcGIS folder in Projects. They're by default there, but we of course can change that in the settings and I can show you that in a minute. They also are going to do something interesting that doesn't happen with ArcMap, and that is a geodatabase will be created for this project, and everything that we create can go into that geodatabase, or we could connect to a different geodatabase. Well, the nice thing is that we can also set in the settings here uh, a place uh, that we can actually define where the geodatabase is and if we want to create a new one for every project or use an existing one for every project. 
and that's very powerful for us. So let's go ahead and just create this new project. We'll just call this a new project one, and we'll create it in the, the default location here in my documents. I will click OK, and now a new project is created. It's an empty project, and here you can see the ArcGIS Pro environment uh, is very, very similar to what you experience in ArcMap, where you have some controls on the top, you have a contents pane instead of a table of contents, you just have a contents pane, and you've got some uh, panes over here on the right uh, so that we can actually bring in different uh, aspects to uh, ArcGIS Pro uh, and do different things. Notice the big difference right away. Something is in the data frame. So here it's called map. And so here's map and this is a tab and we can build lots of them across all the way to the top here. And it has a default uh, um, a base map. Now we can define the base map that we use here. We're just using the world topographic and world hill shade uh, base map, but we can change that in the settings too. And I'll show you that in a minute. All right, so here we have this map interface, and here we have all of our controls at the top. You can see I've added in uh, Earth Cache with this, is an extra add-in. So if you have add-ins, you can add in different things, and you can do that under Project and Add-in Manager. Notice that when I go here, I'm just in the same place that I was for settings. And so you can always get back to your settings by clicking on Project within any project. Now, I want to show you another thing here as we go to catalog. So if we go to view, we can see all of the things that are available. And so we'll just build the catalog pane here. I'll pull it up. Here we have in the catalog pane, we have these different folders. Here we can add in all kinds of things if we want to connect to databases or anything that we want to do related to custom toolboxes and styles that we want to bring in. Notice here under folders is the name of my project, new project, and the geo database is called the same thing that I named my project. Remember I named the project new project one? Well, there's the geo database. It's called new project one. It doesn't have anything in it, but it's created for the project. So again, if you create a new project, every single time a geo database will be created, a file geo database, and that it'll be named the same thing as the project that you called it. Also, that's under databases too. So there's the geo database. If you need to connect to anything, you can right click on it and you can choose to add a geo database or you can add in new ones such as a file geo database or the newest kind of geo database created since I believe it was ArcGIS Pro 2.7 and that is the mobile geo database which Esri is promoting now uh, because it's very strongly connected to uh, mobile technologies and databases in that environment, okay? So let's go back to the project settings and then we'll finish up uh, here in this uh, first tutorial. Okay, here in the options, you can see under the general tab, we've got these different options here. At the start of ArcGIS Pro is where we can actually define what we want. If we want a new project available or a specific default project, if we're always working on the same project to pop up. We also can change different things like the map and the scene. Here, you can change the base map for what you want to come in to your actual data view. Remember I had the, the hill shade and topography? Well, we could use a custom base map here and we could change it to whatever kind of base map is provided by Esri uh, here so that when we open up projects that we can define them that way, all right? Also here in our create projects area, we can on back on the general tab is where we will be able to put in the details related to that geo database. So if you want your project location to be, you know, in a specific place, you can define that here globally. And also the same thing with the geo database. If you want to do a new geo database for each project or just tap into the same existing geo database as the default. For the project. Just because you select these doesn't mean you can't create your own geo databases and work with those or bring in shape files and things like that because uh, you can do that. This is just for starting up projects and for making the connections easy uh, in the ArcGIS Pro environment. Okay, 
So that gives us just a basic breakdown of how to understand the environment here of ArcGIS Pro. Thanks so much for watching.